Warning, using a GPS spoofing on your phone while Pokemon Go is open or installed could get your account banned. Please, if you're gonna do this trick, take the proper precautions and be aware of the risk. I will not and cannot help you if for whatever reason your Pokemon Go account gets banned. So please note that when you're doing this trick, delete the Pokemon Go app off your phone before attempting to kind of ensure that your account may not be affected. And also, again, know what you're doing before attempting this trick because again, if your Pokemon Go account gets banned or terminated, that's gonna that's gonna really suck if you are a Pokemon Go player. So I just wanted to let that warning out first before we actually jump into the video. So let's jump into this. What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and no, my title is not clickbait. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to get yourself the target shiny Pikachu inside a Pokemon Let's Go Eevee or the shiny Eevee inside a Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu without even going to Target. All you need to do for this trick to work is obviously have a copy of either game pokemon let's go pikachu or pokemon let's go eevee a nintendo switch and a cell phone and then you're good to go also you need to be far enough in the game where you're actually able to receive mystery gifts i believe that's after you get pikachu you should be able to go to the communications on the start menu where you could trade pokemon and stuff like that on your cell phone you need to also have the pokemon pass app downloaded and again that's pretty much it that you're gonna need there's also another app I'm gonna ask you guys to download in order to do the GPS spoofing on the phone but again that may vary depending on the type of cell phone you actually have and will be using for this trick first you're gonna need that Pokemon pass application the app is in all Google Play stores and in the Apple Play store as well so again that should be easy to grab the app will ask you for a Pokemon training club account if it's your first time opening the app and again you can make a free Pokemon training club account on the official Pokemon website for free again I'm gonna have a link to the application to make one in the description below just in case you need one now that you're signed in with your Pokemon training club account inside of the Pokemon pass app what you need to do is actually download a different app to do the GPS spoofing now this is gonna be kind of different depending on what type of cell phone you have and what kind of app stores you have access to I'm using a Samsung Galaxy s9 to do this trick so I have access to the Google Play Store and this is the app I'm gonna use if you need to look up an app on any different Play Store if you're using an Apple device and you're on the Apple Store just in the search bar search GPS location or GPS spoofing and a number of apps should actually pop up again this is the one I'm using and I'm only gonna use this app for this trick and then deleted right after I'm done again to ensure that my Pokemon Go account will not be affected by using this app after opening up the GPS spoofing app you might get hit with the same thing I got hit with with the app telling me that it needs to get permission to use the GPS settings on the phone in order to do that you need to jump out the app itself and jump into the settings and into developer options do note that you might have to look up how to get into developer options on most devices mine was locked and funny enough I had to do like a little cheat code in order to unlock developer options on my phone once you are in the developer options under debugging click on the select a mock location app then select the app that you just downloaded to give it permission to change your GPS location again I want to warn you again I'm gonna do this all video because I'm a Pokemon Go player and I want to warn potential Pokemon Go players if they're doing this trick giving an app permission to change your GPS location while using Pokemon Go could get you banned on Pokemon Go my advice again is to uninstall Pokemon Go while you do this trick so you can download this app to do the GPS spoofing and then delete the app and then you know take away the permission this app has over your GPS and then re-download Pokemon Go and you should be good to go I was good to go but we'll get to that in the, in the end of the video once the app gets permission to control your GPS what you need to do is find a target and I mean any target location I'm from New York City Brooklyn born and raised and I know there is a new 
Jersey Target that I used to always go to when I was out there in Jersey. So this is the one that I'm going to throw the GPS on. But again, it shouldn't be hard to find a Target. Just Google one and I'm pretty sure they're going to have tons of Target locations around the US that you could pretty much find on the GPS to make the trick work. Again, it could be any of the Target locations. Once your location is spoof to the Target location, jump into the Pokemon Pass app and then you should see the app acting kind of differently and it should have this like the background starts to move and stuff like that these panels that usually are just showing the event should be blinking red and is kind of reacting to you being at that location quote unquote or spoofing that location of the target and saying that you have arrived to the uh, target event location click start and it will ask you to take a picture of a qr code in the store for the event now don't be like me and try scanning the wrong qr code for the stickers and think the app will automatically know the difference lucky there's only three different codes and i got all of these codes randomly on twitter thanks to this guy on twitter for uploading the codes i'm gonna have a link to his twitter in the description below just in case you need a better quality for whatever reason or better pictures but again i'm gonna have his tweet linked in the description below so you guys can see it but once you show the correct code for what you're actually scanning for the screen will say you have a gift on the bottom of the screen there will be a button that will say download code click that button the box will open and it will take you to the next step where all you have to do is again click on reveal code it will show you the code and then on your Nintendo switch with your copy of Pokemon let's go Pikachu or Pokemon let's go Eevee in the start menu click on communicate then click on mystery gift then click on get with code and then enter the code. Also note that you will need internet access on your Nintendo Switch obviously, but not Nintendo Online. I don't have Nintendo Online at all on this Nintendo Switch and it worked fine. Once you enter the code correctly, you will be gifted with the Eevee inside of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or the Pikachu inside of let's go Eevee. And yes, they come shiny inside of, a, inside of the red event ball which is pretty cool and that's pretty much it baby and again i'm unsure and i should have checked if you can sort reset for better ivs but i wasn't too worried especially not in this game to be honest and not inside of the let's go games but I don't actually think you can because the way you get the mystery gifts in this game, unlike in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon in actually all previous games, you don't go to the Pokemon Center and just talk to the delivery man so you can pick up the gift. The gift gets automatically sent to your box and it's going to be all the way at the bottom to find it if you need help finding it. And again, if you would soft reset, you would kind of really need to enter the code again, which again would just give you the same GIF, which I don't really think that is going to work that way. I try to re-enter the code again after I save the game and it basically just told me that no, you already entered this code. So I didn't double up and get another Pikachu. I tried that as well and that actually didn't work. again. Be sure to either delete this GPS spoofing app once you're done if you are a Pokemon Go player. And if you're not even going to use a GPS spoofing app again, you might as well delete it anyway. Like why keep it on your phone just to be safe. A lot of other apps as well that uses GPS as a main function within the game for events and just for, you know, just uses in the game will actually, you know, ban you or, you know, have a will tell you that you cannot use the app app due to the fact that you have a GPS spoofing app downloaded on your phone. Again, I deleted it. I don't need the app. Again, let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below on this whole trick. I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Peace. I love you guys. And I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.